Hey guys, I'm back at it again with another 180 way, 360 way video. Basically, I'm going to be talking about the different types of products you can use on your waves. Uh, this also works for 540s, 720s, depending on whatever pattern you have. This video is going to help you. And I really, really feel like this is a good tip and a good method for you guys to use on the products. So I'm going to explain it. And then I'm also going to tell you from my experience what products works best. And then also I can tell you about different types of hair products on what type of hair they work best on as well so over the time of the course of having waves you will notice that sometimes oils um, grease or even creams work differently depending on your hair type and how long your hair is uh, for my guys I always recommend that you guys have a hair oil have a cream and have a grease all together but also before you want to get into that you want to also get into shampoos and conditioners Reasoning I'm saying shampoos and conditioners is because you want to use something Natural that isn't too damaging to your hair a lot of times uh, a lot of the shampoos May have a lot of chemicals in it and that can strip your hair which will clean it very well It'll clean your scalp and everything But being that those types of shampoos aren't always used for black hair It can strip your scalp of natural oils and it can strip your hair of natural oils which you'll notice as your hair is dry a lot quicker, a lot faster. And you'll feel like you'll have to wash your hair again just because you're not understanding why you're having dandruff, you're having flakes in your hair, and that's just because you're not getting the right moisture. So with the shampoos, I suggest you use uh, Shea Moisture Natural Shampoo or you can use Miel. I've been hearing a lot about Miel and then also uh, As I Am. As I Am is like top tier if you're looking for some, you know, some good shampoo and conditioner. But uh, mainly you want to use something that's natural, that's not harsh, and something that has something to where all the ingredients are natural and has uh, clean, clean ingredients. You don't want anything where you really can't pronounce the name on it just because you're going to have a lot more difficulty on controlling your waves and controlling your hair because it's just going to dry your hair out that much faster. So as you know, with dealing with waves, when you're dealing with products, your products play a huge role on how long your waves are going to be in for like pretty much how uh, quality your waves are over time because you know if you wash your hair you notice that it takes a minute before you wash it again like let's say a couple days so you want to have something that's going to extend the lifetime of your waves over time rather than something that's going to make your hair feel not as good the next day or feel extremely dry or scalp your scalp having flakes and everything so you know use something really really natural um, I use Shea Moisture just for the naturalness of it. It's just like I'll use like a Shea, it has like a Shea Butter in it. it, has different oils and everything like that in it. And that just plays a whole big part in it because my hair is a lot more moisturized. It has a lot more clarity, has a lot more definition. It's something that I'm looking for. And it helps with uh, curling my waves up and then I can just control it with the brush. So you really want to make sure you focus on the shampoos and conditioners when you're first starting out because that's just going to show your lifetime of your waves and it's kind of like the clarity of them so keep that in mind and your definition so keep that in mind just get something that's really really natural that's going to help you over in the long run okay so we also have a thing called the lock method which is like a uh, liquid oils and cream so when you're dealing with uh, those different types like the oils creams and even greases and everything like that you want to have a combination i always say a combination because your hair is not always going to be the same length and generally you want to use oils when your hair is the lowest because it get, it penetrates to the scalp a lot quicker so you want to use that definitely get in, in no matter what hair length you have get into that because the healthier your scalp is the healthier your hair is going to be that's a lot of times people forget about it or sometimes they don't want to scramble wash and they're not getting those nutrients to the scalp so keep that in mind you want to have the oils penetrate to your scalp and then next you can do a cream creams are really really good when you're putting in your do-rag and you're making sure that everything is moisturized if you're struggling with moisture cream is going to be your go-to just because it's going to lock in a lot of the moisture that you have with the oils and then even with the liquid and then also i would say you want to have um, a good pomade pomades are really good just for that's just to save the process that you have because you can have a good oil you can have a good cream you can have a good liquid but if you do not have a good pomade, it's not going to save any of the process that you've done. Like if you shower brush, if you mirror brush, all that brush work you did, you do, you have to have a pomade just to save all that hard work. Because brushing is a lot, and I know it takes a lot of time. So you want to make sure you have a good pomade. And that's really just like 
after you do everything, after you put all your moisture in your hair, you lock it in, you put it in with the pomade, and that's just what's gonna lay down your curls and it's gonna make sure that it's perfect and it's just gonna be that much better for you. So just keep that in mind. At the end of the day, you need a good pomade. Now that you got your shampoos, you got your conditioners, you got your pomades, you have your liquid oils and creams, the lock method, you have the option to get into mousses, like that's just like a hair mousse, which is diff just like for more moisture and along and added shine. And then you also have the option to do, one of my favorites is the leave-in conditioners. Leave-in conditioners is a different step than the conditioner when you wash your hair because the leave-in conditioner stays in longer. But this is what's gonna help train your waves to where you have an added shine. And you, if you struggle with flakiness, if you struggle with dandruff, you need a good leave-in conditioner because you leave it in longer. You some of them wash it out, some of them you can keep them in. That's kind of like a secret method to where if your hair is a lot drier or you notice that your waves aren't shining as well as they should, a leave-in conditioner is gonna give you that added bonus. You know what I'm saying? If you just feel like the conditioner is not doing the job, or you just feel like the oils is not doing the job, you think the cream is not doing a good job. Sometimes you can do a treatment. It's like a leave-in treatment almost, but it's like a leave-in conditioner. So get a handle on that. Like try that out. If your hair is longer, especially try a leave-in conditioner, just so your hair can penetrate, or your the leave-in conditioner can penetrate your hair and then also penetrate to the scalp. Because sometimes a lot of the products that you use, uh, like liquid oils and creams, it's not really for a long-term added benefit. So a leave-in conditioner is something that you can use just so you can have that level of shine and your hair can be a lot more healthier because it's like with those other products like you rinse those out or they may not stay in as long but a leave-in conditioner is there to stay so you get a, a better result overall and a better a result because your hair is a lot healthier so that's like a trick that you can get is a leave-in conditioner just so you have that clarity and you have that definition so another added tip I would tell you guys is that you don't want to make you don't want your hair to be too long if you're not used to it. I would say like wolfing is just more for the experienced guys out there, like just the people who have been waving a lot longer. So a lot of times people will like to wolf, but make sure you have your pattern set in your hair, like basically just having a good routine with your morning routine and night routine over time because then you'll be able to wolf but if you wolf too early you will notice that your waves will be a lot harder to manage and you will lose a lot of progress because you either cut too much hair off or the products and the processes that you've been putting in your hair has not earned you the next level to wolf so you'll just notice you'll just cut off a lot of progress or your waves just won't be as wavy as they need to be or you won't have the connections that you want so keep that in mind you know keep your cuts on your level if you are a beginner, like don't get your hair, don't grow your hair out too long when you're doing waves because then you'll mess up your pattern, especially if you're not as consistent just because you don't really know the processes. And you should subscribe if you don't know that. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you are not. But yeah, just make sure you get your hair cut often, but make sure you're getting it at the right length. Like don't go too low, don't go too high, but go just right and make sure you communicate that with your barber because they will mess up or they will have it too high or too low if you do not tell them. So make sure you either have a picture or you just tell them one and one, uh, two or one and a half. Just have that communication with your barber so that way there are no mishaps. But um, yeah, on my channel, I just always make sure that you guys have good products. I always say natural products, but sometimes it's not always easy to get the natural products. So if you are first starting out, I would say just get the natural shampoos and conditioners and then start to transfer to more natural products as well. Um, I will be probably making a product soon. I'm saying probably just because I'm trying to make sure the formula is a lot better than what it is now, but I will be perfecting that. But yeah, I just want to make sure I have a natural product at some point. But until then, you can look for products that are natural and this, you know, try to use that and see over time how that treats your hair and how healthy your hair is over time. So I will recommend that to you, but make sure that you're using products that are for your hair type is important too you know you definitely try to liquids the oils the creams but also try the greases try the olive oils the argan oils and just really play with whatever is available to you start with off with that first and then work your way up to more natural or work your way up to um products that work the best over time 
you know, you just kind of got to use it's almost sometimes trial and error. So never feel bad that if you don't have a nice, a certain product that you can't use it. So try it. Let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment down in the comment box below and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.